When I cook, I cook with passion. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make a beautiful and romantic meal for you and your loved ones. My name is Chef Francois. Welcome to Francois Kitchen. Welcome back. As I mentioned to you earlier, we're going to make a wonderful meal today that's going to make your loved one's mouth watery. And it's a simple meal. It's going to be a chocolate vinaigrette salmon and it's going to have vegetables that you can find at your neighborhood markets. These are the ingredients we'll be using today. Salmon with fresh parsley, green peppers and bell peppers, orange, garlic with uh, basil. This is your chocolate vinaigrette uh, sauce marinade, red onion. If you, for any reason, you'd like to have some uh, starch, go ahead, you can use some potatoes. And we have uh, green beans, tomatoes, Brussels sprouts, and butternut squash. As I mentioned to you, everything will be simple. All you need is some chunk garlic, olive oil, and sea salt. Get ready to be loved. Now, we're going to start with the salmon. All you have to do is simply take your salmon, take your chocolate vinaigrette sauce, simply scoop it and drizzle over the salmon. Remember, the chocolate vinaigrette sauce is easy to be made. It has basil, chocolate, a little bit of balsamic vinaigrette. With your oven preheated to 350 degrees, you place it in your oven. Remember, never to overcook your salmon. Leave it in there for about 15 to 20 minutes, it will look Perfect. Now we get our peppers and the tomatoes. We're gonna cook them. Add your peppers. Use a little salt. Now we're going to add a little bit of garlic. While you mix it, simply add your tomatoes. No need to leave them for long, only for a couple minutes. After it's done, simply take it, put it on the side. We take in the green beans, the Brussels sprouts, and the butternut squash. And remember one thing, we're going to cook them together, but we have to cook them on medium because green bean and butternut squash are two things you never want to overcook. Add a little oil to your pan and you take your uh, green vegetables simply add them you add them before it gets real hot simply because the green beans going to release a lot of liquid and you don't want it to splash all over. Add your Brussels sprouts. And add your butternut squash. And of course, how can you have great food without a little bit of garlic? I know you're probably wondering, where does this guy come with this uh, cooking style? Well, guess what? I am from Haiti. I wanted to cook so much when I was a child. So when I came here 20 years ago, I decided to mix things up and I created a fusion of 
Caribbean, Italian, American, and also Mediterranean dish. And this is where I take chocolate, coffee, strawberry, anything that you can think of. If it's out there, I guarantee you, I'll cook with it. And not only I'll cook with it, you're gonna love it. Now we're gonna go check on the vegetables. They look almost done. Remember I mentioned, never to overcook your brother's farm and your brother not squash. The best way to do that is to simply cover it up. But before we cover it up, we're going to add a little sea salt. One thing, don't forget the onion and the lime. Squeeze it. You can hear that sizzling sound, can't you? Do a little stirring. Now we know the salmon's been in there for about over 10 minutes. So we're gonna go and check it, make sure that it's ready. Well, it can go for about uh, five more minutes and we'll come back and get it. The key thing to covering this is to let the steam cook everything through. As you've noticed, I'm making this right out of my kitchen. You don't need an industrial kitchen to make this. I'd like to acknowledge the US Navy that I proudly serve over an aircraft carrier that traveled the world as a chef. I also want to send a shout out to all the servicemen out there. Please get home soon so that you can cook a lovely meal for your loved ones. Now it's time to get the salmon out. Doesn't this look lovely? Now, earlier we spoke about the oranges and I know you probably was wondering what am I gonna do with oranges? Well, here's the trick. Take them, place them along the side. Remember, we spoke about something lovely and exotic. Place them along the side, decoration purposes. Now, we're going to plate the meal. Remember, this was the, the peppers with the tomatoes. Simply add a little to the plate. Now we go back get the Brussels sprouts with the green beans, the butternut squash, and the red onion, and we take it, plate it up, and set it. You take a nice scoop, add it. As promised, another meal lovely and exotic on the 30 minute with Chef Francois. See you next time.